If you like related rates, you're gonna love this child and his mother's story. Turns out the child is standing four feet away from his mother and he lets go of his balloon at the same height as his mother's line of sight. So this picture, a little misleading the way it is right now. The way it really should have been drawn is that we remark that that balloon was originally down here with the child. Okay, so he's got his balloon down there and then he lets go of it at the same height as his mother's line of sight. So here is his mom, she has an eye, and with that eye, she is watching her child, make sure he doesn't run away. And <clears throat> then the boy lets go of the balloon. And the balloon is gonna be rising at the rate of one foot per second. So that means that that balloon, it's gonna start rising and it eventually is going to make it up there. Now, it's rising at the rate of one foot per second. And then they're saying, how fast is the angle of elevation from the mother balloon changing three seconds later? So if we went three seconds later, then what that means is that the height of the balloon would then be three. Okay, so originally it starts off at zero, but now it's gonna be three, three seconds later. But whenever you're doing related rates problems, you need to start off with some sort of equation that relates all your variables. So in this case, you would do tangent of theta equals h over four. Then you take the derivative of both sides with respect to time, so that would be secant squared theta d theta dt equals one fourth dh dt. And we know that the balloon is rising at the rate of one foot per second, so I put a one there. But what they're asking for is how fast is the angle of elevation from the mother to the balloon changing three seconds later? Well, that's the same thing as saying, what is d theta dt when t is equal to three? Or another notation that might be kind of cooler is theta prime of three. But basically we're after this when t equals three. Well, when t equals three, that would mean that I would be able to figure out the secant theta then. So the secant of theta is the same thing as saying the hypotenuse over the adjacent. Now, when I've waited three seconds, this is actually three, this is four, and that would make this one five. So the hypotenuse would be five, the adjacent would be four, and because it's secant theta squared, then I'm gonna be squaring that times d theta dt equals one fourth times one. So that gets you one fourth, obviously. I don't even know why I'm writing that, just erase that. And then d theta dt, that's the same thing as saying theta prime, equals one fourth times four squared over five squared. And that's the same thing as four over 25. And there you go, that is how fast the angle of elevation, which is the angle at which mom has to change her line of sight. Um, and that line of sight is rising, or you could say elevating. And that is what our angle is. But anyway, we're figuring out how fast that's changing. So that's actually our theta prime, which is the thing that they wanted. So we're just gonna say the final answer here is four over 25. And if you wanted to put a couple of units, you would say it's four over 25 radians per second. And there you go. We are done. See ya.